Hey guys, my name is George Robertson. I'm pastor at Second Presbyterian Church. And uh, my friend David Montague has asked me to, to give you a, a word of encouragement. I'm so honored to be asked to do that. Uh, I'm up here in my, my daughter's closet, which serves as her art room, because it's the only quiet place at my house. All of my kids are home doing their online schooling. It's a wonderful time in that way. But uh, I had to retreat up here to, to say hello to you. I, I want to thank you, first of all, for, for your uh, service uh, in and through MTR. You have chosen a noble profession as a teacher, but uh, even more noble in uh, getting your degree through MTR and serving the underserved in our city. I can't thank you enough for that. It's a, it's a cause very dear to my heart. We uh, love MTR at Second Presbyterian. We love uh, having the students involved in our church, and we just thank you so much for what you are doing for the least of these, as uh, the Lord Jesus would call them, those who are especially close to his heart, children, and then uh, children who are in need. And I want to give you this word of encouragement for yourselves because this is, a, this is a stressful time for you. It's already stressful enough being an MTR student. I know how hard you work. But to be an MTR student in this time of pandemic is, is has to be very difficult. I, I battled anxiety when I was a kid. I still battle anxiety, but I was crippled by it when I was a child. And it was, uh, it was a group of, of teachers in a very small school I was in who really uh, blessed me and, and helped me through that time. And uh, so much so, they made such an impact on me. I, I knew I either wanted to be a teacher or a pastor, and now I find that I'm doing both as a pastor. So I got an education degree at, in college. <clears throat> and I, one of my professors uh, would tell us constantly, uh, he said, uh, you've got to remember that as teachers, it is your foremost responsibility to provide a safe atmosphere, a safe environment for your students. Because ever since the Garden of Eden, when Adam and Eve sinned and, and ran for cover, human beings have been looking for shelter and refuge. And there are few places more vulnerable uh, for a human being than a classroom. And I, I experienced that that redemptive safety provided by teachers in a classroom who allowed me to, to learn and to feel and to struggle uh, within a classroom and, and dared to build a relationship with me, not just to teach me. And I think that, that you, you special ones, you're already special just going through, getting involved in MTR. But God is going to make you an even more special generation because you will understand in a fresh way the need for refuge because you're experiencing the need of it yourself. So I, I want to, to encourage you with one passage of Scripture which I want you to take on you like, a, uh, like an oxygen mask, like they tell you in the airplane if there's a, if there's a crisis Put the oxygen mask on yourself first, and then you'll be able to help those around you. I want you to put this on for yourself first, and uh, you will be uh, even more incredible teachers for your students. It comes from Psalm 18, verse 2. The Lord is my rock, my fortress, and my deliverer. My God is my rock in whom I take refuge. He is my shield and the horn of my salvation, my stronghold. I call to the Lord, who is worthy of praise, and I am saved from my enemies. And the very first verse says, I love you, O Lord, my strength. I pray that if the Lord is not your Savior yet, and if he's not your strength, that, uh, that, that you will call out to him, and you will find him to be so. But even if you've been a Christian for a long time, I, I pray that that uh, these verses will mean something fresh to you, that 
The Lord is our rock. He's a refuge. He's a fortress. He's the one who provides us comfort in the midst of uncertainty because he doesn't change. He's the same yesterday, today, and forever. And as you experience the Lord providing you refuge, you will provide very safe environments for your students who will flourish under your teaching in the future. Thank you again for what you do. And uh, let me have a prayer with you. Lord Jesus, the greatest teacher of all, the one who taught us by his example, by laying his life down for us, that we might be reconciled to God, as many as shall call upon you by faith. I pray your blessing on these special teachers, these MTR teachers. Bless them in their studies, and especially draw them close to you, that they might experience you to be their refuge and strength, that they might in turn do the same for their students and ultimately point them to you as well. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Blessings.